blessed Gregory, raised upon the throne of Peter, sought always the beauty of the Lord, and lived in celebration of that love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Christ, have mercy. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Let us pray. O God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, endow, we pray, with the spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So, let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you, Paul, or Paulos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future. All belong to you, Christ, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Amen. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled the boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Cardinal Francis George was the previous uh, Archbishop of Chicago. He died around 2015. And at some point, a couple of years shortly before he died, uh, he said something in a talk. And this quote sort of went viral, at least by 2015 Catholic internet standards. I just want to share kind of two parts of the quote with you. He said, rather dramatically, I expect to die in bed. I expect that my successor will die in prison, and his successor will die a martyr in the public square. So that's the part that became really famous and that went all around. But he clarified and reminded people later that he also said something else after that. He said, so he'll die in his bed, his successor will die in prison, and that guy's successor will die a martyr. But he said something about a fourth person. He said, his successor, the fourth one, will pick up the shards of a ruined society and slowly help to rebuild civilization, as the church has done so often in human history. Gregory the Great, who we're celebrating today, was an example of that. He uh, was from a noble family and left his uh, family. He sold his family's property and used it to build a monastery, which he joined. Uh, And after a while, he was ordained as a deacon for the Diocese of Rome. And the Pope made him the the papal ambassador to Constantinople. So imagine, take Deacon Brian, who you see here on the weekends, and you ordain him as a deacon. And then you say, okay, we could have assigned you to OLV, but instead you're going to be the ambassador to Iran more or less what that was. And when Gregory became Pope, Europe was basically bankrupt morally, spiritually, governmentally. We're used to hearing about the separation between church and state, uh, but there have been times in not too distant Western history when there actually was no state, there was no government, it had just collapsed, like there were no secular rulers. And what Gregory spent much of his time as Pope doing uh, was kind of providing some structure that the secular world couldn't provide at the time so that people could still live their lives and flourish, to provide some stability and some peace uh, when there were wars or when there were invaders, he was the one who had to negotiate these treaties because there were no reliable leaders to do that.
all of this can be a good reminder to us of something, which is that we can get really overwhelmed by the world or what it looks like, whatever your opinions may be on anything. Um, but Jesus has given a promise to the baptized and to the church that he hasn't given to political parties or to candidates or even to countries. He says, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. And this is what we actually believe, that whatever countries are in existence at the end of the world, they might be the ones that are here right now. They might not. But the church will still be here. And the church has been through, believe it or not, a lot worse. And the world has been through a lot worse. Jesus says to us, do not be afraid. Gregory the Great also is the reason that you can go basically to any Catholic church and attend the same liturgy. He was involved with kind of codifying it or making sure that it was the same in every place. When you hear about Gregorian chant, it's named after him. And so we offer this sacrifice and receive the body of the Lord, trusting that the Lord has given himself to us and protects us and holds on to us forever. we stand as we offer our prayers and petitions before the Lord. For the church throughout the world, especially in parts of the world that are particularly unstable, dangerous, or violent, for her protection and for her ability to preach peace, we pray to the Lord. Gregory, before he was a priest and a bishop, uh, served as a deacon for a long time. And this Saturday, there will be almost 10 deacons ordained at the cathedral in Albany, as well as a priest. We pray for all of them, uh, for their uh, new ministry, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon each of them and their communities. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all civil leaders, that they will govern with humility and justice in accord with the natural law, trusting in God above human power. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those in our communities who are suffering and alone. We pray for those who go unseen, whose suffering is hidden and quiet, maybe ignored. We pray for them and for their consolation and for God's peace with them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died and those for whom this Mass is offered. For Marianne Polito, we pray to the Lord and for your own intentions. Tonight, a number of our high school students will receive the Sacrament of Confirmation. We pray for an outpouring of God's Holy Spirit on them. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, enlighten the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in us the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit, and we shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Gregory you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time.
Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder that uh, we can always use help cleaning up, wiping down surfaces. After Masses, we'll have a funeral later on this morning. Uh, Alex and Timo are a great help. We can always use more hands, so you're free to stay anytime. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you for being here, and have a good day.